What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color gold with Copic markers. Now as you can see I have the word gold here on my Canton Bristol paper and I'm going to use my Copic markers to show you guys how to color gold. Now the Copic colors you'll need are E47, Y28, Y26, Y15, Y13, Y11, and a colorless blender, number zero. So those are all the colors you'll need. And you'll also need a yellow colored pencil. I'm using a Prismacolor one. It's PC915 Lemon Yellow. And that's what I'm gonna be using later on in this video. You can also use a white one, that'll work. It just has to be a colored pencil. But with that being said, let's get started. So when I color gold, it consists of two different gradients. One is going to be lighter than the other, but it will still consist of the same colors. But the darkest color will start right here in the middle. So I'm going to grab my ruler. I'm just going to draw a line across like so. So the darkest gradient will start on that line. So let's grab my darkest color, which is E47. And I'm just going to apply this color on that line. And you know what, I'm actually gonna start off by doing it with the G, so let me zoom in on the G. Yeah, so I'm gonna just do it with the G and then I'm just gonna time lapse the rest of the letters later on in the video. So um, we applied our darkest color along the line that we just drew with our ruler. Now we're gonna take our second darkest color, which is this Y28. I'm just gonna apply that just under the E47. Give that a little blend. Alright, and now let's go with our Y26. And as you can see, it's already starting to look like gold, only because this Y26 looks more like a yellow. But, we're getting there. So now let's take our Y15 and blend that, give it a big, huge, large blend area. And then our next color, which is Y13, and we're gonna finish that area with this Y13, and then we're gonna make it go further down over here, because the G kinda extends downwards like this. And now we have Y11. This is our lightest yellow. And then we're also going to apply it on this side of the G. Okay. And now let's use our colorless blender and just blend that to the white of the paper. And there we go. But now you might be curious on what we're gonna do to this top portion. Well, what we're gonna do is, since I said earlier that there's gonna be two gradients, one's lighter than the other, we're gonna apply a lighter gradient to the top of this G. But I also said it's gonna consist of the same colors. So instead of using all the colors that I listed in the beginning, I'm actually gonna use my lightest four. So it's gonna be Y15, Y13, Y11 and our colorless blender. So the other colors we won't need to apply our lightest gradient, but these are just the colors we'll be applying to just this top portion of the G and all the other letters too. So Y15, I'm gonna apply a very minimal amount to the top of the G. And now let's go with our Y13. And just blend that out. And now Y11.
and now the rest we can use our colorless blender for so let me blend that into the white of the paper all right and now we have two gradients we have a lighter one at the top it blends to a white and then we have a darker version of this gradient that starts right here in the middle and then continues with the same colors going down so now that we're done with that, I'm gonna take my yellow colored pencil and just apply this to the contours of the letter G. And what's great about the Prismacolor colored pencils is that they work like paints, so I can provide like an overlay to this letter G. Like so. But I'm more so just doing it to the white part so that way it's still kind of visible. And there we go. We got our gold. So real quick, I'm just going to color in the dimensions of the G with our darker colors and then come back to you guys. And now we have our completed letter G. And as you recall from the beginning, I said I was gonna time lapse the rest of these letters, but I'm just gonna do another example with just the letter O and time lapse the LD. So let's zoom out real quick. So again, my graphite line is still visible and I'm gonna apply my darkest color to it, which is E47. And now we got Y28. Now we got Y26. Y15. Y13. Y11, and then our colorless blender. Okay, and now let's just take our lighter colors and apply a lighter version of this gradient to the top portion of this letter O. So we got Y15, apply that close to the top very minimal amount. Y13. Y11. And then colorless blender. All right, and now that that's done being applied, let's use our yellow colored pencil and really just apply it to the white parts of the contours like this. Cause you see where, you see on this contour that they're just white surrounding it. We're just gonna apply it there. And then over here as well. And then don't forget the bottom cause there's some white down there too. Okay, and now let's take our darker colors and color in the dimensions of the letter O. So I'm gonna use Y26, that's the base color. Y28 is my darker color, well mid-tone in this case. And then my darkest color is E47. And then from there, I can just work backwards to blend those colors together. And there we go. 
So real quick, I'm just gonna apply these same gold gradients to the L and D and show you guys what the entire illustration looks like after doing so. And I'm gonna do that in time lapse so that way it goes faster. So let's go. All right, and there you go. That's how you color gold with Copic markers. Oh, would you look at that? So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.